tifo ni ashefo ye mo bi bela kwa ba ende ba daily update tv so daily update tv so they see we give you the best of all time and then there will be the kind of our channel no so ya power chow subscribe ma ye ne bo notification bell no so youtube ma let to no bo rem so so nsa be ka ye video so ni bi na waje pe na wa hwe na wa she na afofro so enya bi hwe nya mi sure ye ni nkomo kakra about eh election na e twegu ye eh na no ben eh na no me me dey na ye beauty ka beauty or a chartered economist or say a national ndc communicator ko p or ye bless good morning bless show so ah ya to ni good morning e wo pan africa tv na e wo na enkomodie mu obeka se o hinti se e ye ba o mia campaign manager friend e ye samia woku obeka se pe pe omo in global info analysis and uh, some research internal research of a uh, mpp party you know, and the results will be by say a uh, sovi say but me are by this amount of a uh, year percentage or uh, another uh, results now no no sami uh, 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 no something not less than 70 percent is fake research it, you know the question here is to say the percentage wider a year but me a campaign manager now watch her at all say they, they have to read that that target you know as woman you know so is it that the resource is fake or what according to a beauty because or see according to beauty no catch and say so what's this so below 75 percent a fake idea and about me and less than 75 percent so only 61 percent so which means indirectly is it a fake resource or something like that so me say a composition i had been trade and just also the comments better comment sexual according to beauty bernard utrechi now a former ampp say why you don't yet the mpp no more and this is a man you call me into my paper no no it is a in same way a tuja samia uku happen to be a year about me a campaign manager Say something seventy less than seventy five percent is a fake. So definitely, Bomia is ha having less than a year seventy five percent or sixty one. So which means the result is fake. And as I say, according to BOP, BOT that is the suggestion he was given. Timmy Pacho also check our comments or comment section over the survey now. Of course, now. Samia Ukusu Ebe Khan Adri say no Chow comment or Esha comment section I'm sure You know you can say Hi hey, daily update TV So we give you the best You move around You could see NNO I'm sure There was And I'll give you a reference mm. In Asin Central There was a gun shooting There was a gun shooting Maybe you couldn't trace it mm. When uh, Former MP for Suhum mm -hmm. From when former MP for Suhum Or Pari mm -hmm. Got to the scene There were gun shooting Warning shot So there was an element of gunshot, but one out of 273 is no two six. No, but Sunyan is Mampon, there was no election. So I am you know, I'm, I'm guided by data. There was no election in Sunyan East. There was no election in Mampon. So if you have 275 constituencies and out of that two did not take part in the process, it reduces it to 273. 274 because there was election at the MPP. Fine. But I'm taking the traditional constituencies. So traditionally, there were 273 constituencies. So one out of 273 could not be an element to jeopardize the beauty of what they did. But you cannot say there was no, there was gun shooting in Asin Central. But let me come to the bone of contention. For him to say in their pool, in their research, they estimated between 63, that is too not true because I listened to the campaign manager of Dr. Mahmoud Baumia on Peace FM on city tv on joy that is that's samir that's Uku. Uku, right? and he was emphatic i'm quoting his words and he's the campaign he was a campaign manager maybe the campaign could be dissolved by today but he said that any research work that put the, the performance of dr Mu below 75 percent is fake i'm quoting his own words he said it's on city tv on joy on peace fm that any research work, whether it is global info analytics, their internal research, international body, that postulate to say that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is going to win, but getting anything less than 75% is fake. So if you sit on this platform today and you are telling the whole world that 
you did your internal research, and per the research you had, it was established that you were going to win one type victory between 16. Then it means that your campaign manager was disingenuous. He was not being factual. He was throwing tantrums. So I'm quoting his words on City TV, on Peace FM, on Joy News, as against what you are saying today. So that cannot be true. What, what, Again, what figures did Benefsing I'm coming to that. <laughs> you know, on some four days. A tea for an extra for not just a Ushe and summer beauty cana. Let us all can some for frost a day. A cow. I know the summer person, a boy team, a big brim near Quacuti, a Sabaka say very soon a MP and DC, a de omo manifesto, a beba, and a zombie drop it omo manifesto. We and then some are for forbidden or cacao. To me, some ran in Coso, ni in tea and no. The corner of us is a and MPP rep no one crowd, not just a woman in both for him say it was not easy discussion. Team Moran says, and then say, NT the ABOT a cast also. Let me show I did up the TV. So I'm coming, then I go to the majority leader of parliament. I'm going to majority leader of parliament, which is honorable say to MP for Swami in a shanty region. Come on, you are talking. Are you superior to majority leader? If we are counting, we are. No, no, no. no. We are talking about research. Yes, I think. Yes, I think. I think his opinion no. is. Bless. No. Bless. You see, no. Right. 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 And you are not close to him in terms of the party hierarchy and weight of the party. If you are counting elephants in the party, <laughs> you are a foul. He is an elephant. Because today, if we need people with voices in MPP, and you state your opinion, and Honorable Sir Chairman Sembosu state his opinion, his opinion will override yours. That is a fact. I think that he, goes FM, <laughs> he goes to Abu FM. He goes to Abu FM or Refa TV. Uh, another station in Kumasa, and I have the videos I can share with you. And they said, that any opinion pool that put Dr. Mamoubouen below 80% will not be accepted. A day or two later, he got back to swallow his better pill. So, all research work done by them, and their posture was to say that he was going to win anything above 75%. Now, bless, because I'm from the economic background, let me use data to analyze trend analysis. When you have data, you can use three tools to analyze it. Trend, cross, or penna. And I'll use trend and cross, cross session to analyze his data. He said that Professor Dubois hit the late, got a 56.6%, and he lost. John Adekun Kufo in 96, got a 51.9, he lost. Nana Kufo in 207, got a 47 point something, he lost. So reading trend analysis and his own data, I'm not using NBC data, I'm using his own induced data to draw conclusion. So but, 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 but I mean, but then again, he made he made he made that I'm analysis to a point. and if, drew if and drew into land, I'm coming and drew into yes, the fact that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is from the north. Right. Don't jump the gun. Right. Don't don't jump the gun. right proceed. You appreciate where I'm landing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He says I do want him make fifty six point six, he loses. He didn't add a loss. He didn't say that. Okay, so quote, quote, so, quote, yes, he didn't. He didn't add. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, he didn't. I'm using to analyze the data. To be fair, to be fair, to be fair. It's not to cut the loss. I'm using data to analyze. Okay, this is what I said. You elected Professor Dubois in your part, and he's from an account constituency, so to speak. He made fifty six point six. He lost. I didn't say that. No, he didn't say that. Now he's not saying that you said he lost. I agree. Can you proceed? He lost what? He won the right election. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So he's saying that, not you. Uh, yeah. You see, I am using data to do analysis. Yeah, right. We're here to analyze. Yes. Right. I don't want him to make 56 points. I don't want him to make 56 points internally in your party. Come to the right election. And you, I love the election. Kufo made 51.9. He lost the election. My analysis. Nene Kufo, 47.7. He lost the election. Today, Dr. Mamou Bermia internally. Has made sixty one point five percent. He will lose because <laughs> in the super delegate election, in the super delegates, he made a performance sixty seven plus percentage in the super delegate. When the base was broadened, and in every data, the broader the base, the more accurate your prediction becomes. 
when you narrow the base of data, it can shroud your prediction. So if, say, 1,000 people are voting, and you get 90%, and 200,000 vote, and you get 61%, it tells you that your popularity within the circle at the base is broadening declines. That should tell you that if we had, if we had allowed on November 4th, all the 6.7 million who voted 2020 for the NPP to have cut their vote on November 4th, Dr. Bomeo would have garnered something less than 61%. Because in the super delegate election, you made 67 plus percentage. When the base was broadened to 200,000 plus, it declined from 67 to 61. It will suffice to tell you econometrically, if we broaden the base and every cardboard member of the NPP were to vote, I can tell you he would never have missed 61%. That aside, that aside, that aside, that aside. There are research and opinion poll, and there is a document titled a Japadier document that seem to postulate and confirm certain happenings in the NPP. Permit me to read some portions. I, I totally please, 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 I'm quoting the awake.com. I'm quoting the source. And you call yourself an economist. I'm, I'm quoting the, I'm very giving you a source. I have a document I'm giving you a source. A very if, unverifiable if, source. If you have a document, he's an academician. Ah. When you are making a quote or a reference, this, you this, quote this, your source. This is very disappointing. I'm giving you a document. I'm giving you the source. From my week. If you think it's but not do, verifiable, do do who is supposed to verify do, 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 Thank do, you. Do you do critical analysis? I'm asking, who is supposed yeah. to verify do you the do document? Critical, you, the host, should be able Come to... Come on. Come on. Proceed. No, proceed. Come on. Proceed. What are you talking about? Proceed. Please, don't, proceed. Proceed. don't go on the standards. Don't go on that standard. A verifiable Don't go on that standard. So that's why I don't go on that standard. I want to make it. You see, when you are on the floor, I want to have you. To make a allow him to flow. Which, if you want to go on this channel, you will not enjoy the show. source is coming from. Bless, you know something? Cannot has, be verified. Cannot be verified. Right. That is proceed, your opinion. Proceed. Listen to, from a certain, he said, although the Asante group. the author? He said the Asante group, although the Asante group within the current MPP, is Jerry is said to take over the party over the next tenure in 2024. It will be ideal if we could work to bypass them in 2024. With hard work. We could work to pass the mantle over to a non account person, preferably from the north, under whose presidency we could secure the maturity of our takeover project. You, he made a point, and the reason I quoted the source okay. is in his submission. Okay. He said that they selected a non traditional candidate. That informed me to make this reference. Other than that, I would never have gone into this. He submitted on this platform that. If elected the candidate who is from a non-traditional area of the MPP, which I agree, the traditional areas are the purely the accounts. Talk of Ashanti region, Bono region, Ahafu region, part of Bono East region. When you put these areas together, it consolidates the account, the, the traditional base of the uh, MPP. That I give them the credit. But guess what? The mere fact that you've gone to elect a candidate from a non-traditional area, it's not a guarantee for victory. I say so based on research by Global Info Analytics. And I'll quote page 26. Look, Global Info Analytics predicted yeah, 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 that yeah. the victory of His, uh, His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Baumia will be 58 plus or minus 2 or 3. So if he wins by 61 point something percent, it shows that it's a credible institution. Global Info Analytics, proud to even Alan Ezit, indicated that if the elections were to be held and Alan was in the game, there would be a runoff. Possibly Alan hesitated the party, leaving the race to be a two-horse race between Kennedy or Kennedy Japan and His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. At the end of the day, Kennedy had less than a year to campaign, and anybody can bear witness. And for me, if there is anybody to shower praise, it should be Ken, because it was a one-man thousand. In the election 2007 in Legon, Alan was the establishment candidate. Then I was in MPP. I was part of his campaign team. And I knew whatever transpired. I'm not a novice to MPP politics. When Polafoko was slapped, I was there. 2007, Alan, by every indication, was the establishment candidate. In fact, I think Upper East or West Regional Minister currently, 
was sacked by Kofo because he was supporting Nana Kufuado. These are matters of fact. So at the end of the day, fast forward, 2023, the same song that was sung for Alan 2007 is replicated in 2023. So when I, for one, saw followers of Alan who were not too enthused about the goodies Dr. Bamu Bamiya was enjoying, I told them that karma is real. So Dr. Bamu Bamiya, by every stretch of imagination, was an establishment candidate. And this is peculiar and very prevalent in the MPP because Alan was in 2007, First of 2023, he became the Sullivan candidate. But the data we have here today does not support the fact that electing Dr. Mahmoud Baumia from the North will guarantee you the victory. Whilst I agree, statistically, for the past two elections, 2008, let me give credit to Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, since he was nominated to be running mate to Nanado from 2008, 2012, 2016, 2020, the nominal figures, even percentage-wise, in voter region, northern region, if it's, it's gone up a bit relative to our performance in the north and voter region. I will tell you statistically, the performance of the NPP in voter region in the two successive elections has edged up by 6% mildly positive for them. In the northern region, though we in the NDC keep winning, but the figures and the data seem to point to the fact that in the two previous elections, the NPP has done better by 10% up. That is to confirm that, yes, electing him will give you some credit. But hey, come to look at it. When he was elected in his acceptance with the victory speech, he said one thing that, I have my own vision. And when I begin to analyze him, so you are telling Ghanaian that you had a brilliant vision. You shielded that vision. You kept it to your chest two minutes and allowed this nation to be rounded the ground. Right. So that vision couldn't have been given to Nana Kufuado. Implicit in that vision, we are facing domestic debt exchange. Currently, we are facing external debt exchange. Currently, if you take all the macroeconomic indicators, talk of crime rate, exchange rate, policy rate, unemployment rate, etc., when you bundle them together, you are worse off compared to Mahama. In Global Info Analytics Report, they have indicated the key issues. That are going to be the determinant factor in who wins election 2024. The key among them are the economy, jobs, education, corruption, healthcare, rules, petroleum prices, and taxes. If I take the page 44 of this research document, ethnicity comes to number 10. So you can elect a non traditional candidate from the north to cater for whatever you call it. But among the key pillars or the determinant that will win election 2024, ethnicity comes to number 10. So when Ghanaians pay their voters ID card on December 7, 2024, and they are going to cast their vote, the seven dominant factors they will look at are one, the economy, job creation, education, corruption, health care rules, personal price, and taxes. These are the things we are going to do. And we in the NDC will be launching our manifesto soon. In that manifesto, we will be guided by the fact that about seven years ago, we gave you a scorecard. In the scorecard we gave you, Everybody saw the inflationary rate in the country. People saw the policy rate. People saw unemployment rate. People saw exchange rate. You took over the economy, giving sloganeerism, flamboyant lip service. Today, the economy is in an under intensive care unit. So I'll, I'll urge my brother that you can even elect the, the paramount chief of Dabon as your candidate. But that will not change the indicator for who wins election 2024. Thank you very because much. Because in that indicator, uh, right. no. That's no, no, right. no, right. please, please, please. Right. It's not this. Right. Right. Let, let me come right. in here. Right. Let me come in. Right. The most respectable right. person in the north, please, yes. please, don't, don't get me wrong. Right. Right. The most respectable person in the north is the overlord. Yes. Do the 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 please, the yes, the please, don't misquote me and don't. Please, please, don't don't misquote me. I I know it's good. So the the, the most respect. No, please, 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 don't misquote me. The most respectable personality and office is the overlord. Yeah. Is that not it? Mm -hmm. If we put the overlord here and we put Dr. Mahmoud Baumier here, he command more respect than the vice president in the north. Yeah. Because he's the overlord. I think. I True think. or false? Right. Good. <laughs> but when it comes to issues of who wins, when it comes to issues of who wins election 2024, ethnicity comes to number 10. Yes. Right. And that has no bearing on right. whether right. it comes from the north. Thank, thank you very much. It's the only way to be That is um, um, yourself um, from that. Yes. Right. I didn't mean any malice. Yes. 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 Bless. Yes. I didn't I mean any malice. You put that in proper yes. context. I didn't mean any malice, but right. to tell you that, 
the most respectable position in the north is the overlord. Yeah. Yes. But in the in the fact that that to constitute who wins the election twenty twenty four, ethnicity is number ten. Right. Right. It's That's the point I want to make. So nobody should use that. I'll do a few messages. I'll come. for any show for just and any equity and ideally up the TV so we give you the best she about your channel subscribe in a for first when you're busy instead to me stay good at the amount trending news ever let me show you now